Has anyone seen Jade or Nyla? Girl, you know they're always late. Give them some time. Nyla texted me 45 minutes ago asking for a ride, but I told her Anika and I were already here. A ride? Where's her car? I don't know, I didn't ask. Well, they need to hurry up and get here. Tevin has a surprise. A surprise? Girl, I thought this new house was the surprise. It was. That's what the invite said. It is, but he said he has something bigger planned. I'm hoping that he's going to take some time off work. If that's a surprise, he can make that announcement now. He don't need to wait for those two heifers. Maybe he wanna wait on these two heifers. Thank God y'all finally made it. I told you I would be here. I just had to pick up now. I'm so sorry we're late. I'm having car troubles. Car troubles? Terrell took the car back. Car troubles. Again? <sighs> yeah, for good this time. I told you to get that car in your name. Now look, he done turned you into a pedestrian again. Girl, fuck Terrell in that car. It came with too many stipulations anyway. Plus the upkeep would have been expensive as hell. Maybe it's a good thing he took it back. Right, cause anytime I have to get anything done to the Tesla, I have no choice but to take it to the dealership. You're not helping right now. How is Valerie supposed to help Cinderella get her carriage back? Oh, sure. All right, who the hell hurt you? Cause this is the second time you've come at me. I'm just being honest. No, you're being a bitch. A bitch? Um, this is still my house warming and you bitches aren't being warm at all. If I should keep her ass off her shoulders, everyone would have a good time. <laughs> anyway. This house is nice, Val. Tevin is really taking care of you. Yeah, he is. You know, I didn't even know we were moving. I was so surprised when he showed me the house. This is a nice neighborhood. I love the layout, but I don't know how you're going to decorate all this space. It's a lot more space than what we had before. I'm not even sure how I'm going to decorate all of this. I can't imagine. If you need any help, I know a Thank decorator. You. I might need one. Hey, how's everyone enjoying the party? It's a nice little party. Thanks for having us, Tev. It's a nice house. Thank you. I'm just trying to take care of my girl. And we see that. We're so glad our friend found a good one. Y'all are really boosting this man's ego. We're just being honest. Not too many people get it right the first time. No offense, Devin. None taken. It's a beautiful home, Kevin. Well, thank you, guys. But can I take Valerie away for a moment? Take her, we'll be here. Y'all behave, I'll be back in a few. Hey, so what y'all think the surprise is? Maybe they're getting a dog? I think Tevin is allergic to animals. Why would they want a pet when they can just invite one of you over? I'd like to thank you all for coming out. We know this party was a little last minute, so we're glad that each one of you was able to make it. You think they're renewing their vows? Have they even been married long enough to do that? No. My wife and I felt like we could use some more room because we'll be starting a family soon. I know you fucking lying. Has to be. She's been drinking since I got here. 
That girl ain't said nothing about no babies. I wonder who's going to be the godmother. We are so excited to embark on this new journey in our life. Again, thank you all for coming. You're cute for acting like you didn't know, but you could have told us. Yeah, since when did we become the last to know? If I told y'all, it wouldn't be a surprise. Well, congratulations, Val. If anyone deserves it, it's definitely you and Tevin. Thank you. I'm glad that you guys are being so supportive. Of course, we're always going to support your decision. Now let's enjoy the last night you may be able to drink. God knows I need one. As much as I like to stay and get drunk with y'all, I double booked. I have a work event to go to. Work? Girl, you probably going to a club event. And am problem. I'm not surprised. Look at what she came in. Go ahead, we'll catch up later. Uh, how am I going to get home? You were my ride, remember? Anika and I can take you home. See? Everything worked itself out. I'll see y'all later. So, have you guys decided on names? Not yet. We're going to wait and see what we're having. Ooh, we can play your baby shower. Of course, but let's talk about something else. I don't want the whole conversation to be about me. Well, if you really want to switch topics, let's talk about that girl that has been talking Anika's head off. Who is that? I don't know her. I assume one of Tevin's friends brought her. She looks a little young to be around Tevin's crowd. I'm young. No, babe. She looks like she's still having fun young. Are you trying to call me boring? I thought we weren't making this about you. She's pretty. She's not Anika's type. She's my sister. Sister? Oh girl, you talk about the one your daddy ran off ahead? Yes. The hell is she doing here? I invited her. Okay, why? Because she's getting married and I'm her maid of honor. Hold on, did I miss something? I thought you two didn't speak. We didn't until now. Bitch, can you start dragging and tell us how the hell this happened? Yes, and can we get a drink while we're at it? This has been a stressful day. Come on, let's get this booze baby a drink.
Roy Woods. That's my name. Do I know you? You should, but since you don't, I'll introduce myself. My name is Jay Polanco. I manage some of your favorite artists like Cersei and Mad Max, and I'm trying to add you to that list. Not interested. Can I ask why not? I don't need to be managed. I make all my moves. But wouldn't you love to make your moves on a bigger platform? I don't want to sell my soul to these industry folks. Both Cersei and Mad Max are independent artists with the best lawyers and good brand deals, and that's all because of me. I make sure they aren't shitted and are well taken care of. How about this? If you can set up a meeting for me to meet Cersei, I'll consider it. Deal. Give me your number. You're late. I double booked. Excuses. And what I tell you about networking in my events? I gotta eat, just like you. Yeah, or oh, you're messing with my clientele. Possible clientele. I don't think you'll be okay if I snag one or two. Mm, let's see about that one or two. So, you spending the night at my house tonight, right? No, I can't. I have to wake up early tomorrow. So, when I'm gonna see you again? Maybe Thursday. Of next week. Jay, come on. What you got going on? I'm trying to expand. I figured if I could get a solid team of people, I can start my own management company. And you believe in Roy Woods? I do. Even with her track record of arrest? I'd like to think she was doing what she had to survive. <laughs> so you agree with her robbing niggas? They were probably gonna spend it on something stupid anyway. You might be right, but it's wrong. You might be right, but I'll think we'll be fine. Thanks for the concern, though. You're welcome. But I'm really not gonna see you till next week, though. What can I say? I'm a busy girl. You that busy to where I gotta wait all the way till next week to see you. Yes, Mason. Cersei is about to drop an album, and I have to make sure everything's done right. And you think in the middle of you doing that, you gonna have time for Roy? <laughs> you putting too much on your plate. Maybe. But you let me worry about that. If I have time, I'll swing by this week, okay? All right. You heading out? Yeah. I'll call you and let you know I made it home. Be safe.
Girl, what are you doing outside my house? He changed the locks. The locks? What do you mean? The apartment is in Terrell's name, Jade. Oh my God. I know you have a lot of questions, but can I please just stay for the night and answer them in the morning? Come on, you're lucky I'm tired and gotta get up early. Thank you. No, I need everything to be set up by 8, nothing less. She wants to see the setup before, and the outfits need to be sent over immediately. Thank you. I'll see you when I get there. Bye. I'm glad you're up, because I need a ride to work. I hope you're ready then. I am. And ready to talk. I'm not, but I feel like I can't really talk my way out of this one. Unfortunately, you can't. Why is your apartment in his name? You think I can afford that apartment off of what I make at the call center and going to school? I would be drowning in debt right now if it wasn't in his name. Why didn't you say anything? I could have helped. Look, Jade, you always help, and I didn't want this to be another thing you helped me out with. I thought maybe Terrell would want to be with me and stop playing house on the weekends. And leave his wife and kids? Okay, maybe I fumbled the bag, but I am tired of playing sloppy seconds. I wanted him to choose me, and he didn't, so it's done. This is all too much. Come on before we both late to work. You don't think I deserve that? I think you deserve that and a lot more, but next time, get a car that a nigga can pay off quickly and don't let him put your place of residence in his name. I'd rather you ask me to be running around here with no place to go. I'll remember that for future reference. And how are we going to get your stuff? I'll try to get in contact with him about it. Yeah. Let me know if we choose in violence. All right. This is my stop.
I'll see you when I get off. Have a good day. You too. And thank you. No problem. Stay as long as you need. All right. Bye. Uh, good to see you, Nyla. Good morning, Francis. Good morning, Nyla. We need to talk about your call history. Yeah, Charles and I had a conversation about it yesterday. He says I've been doing really good these last six months. Yes, you've caught on faster than most of our employees, and a lot of them have done call center work for years. Well, thank you. I try to do my best. If that's your best, I'd hate to see you when you try hard. Here at TCA, we like to reward our employees for their hard work. Don't think that dedication has gone unnoticed. Have a good day, Nyla. Hey girl, what was that about? Francis doesn't talk to anyone unless they're getting fired. He said I've been doing really good and I'm going to be rewarded. That sounds like a promotion, congrats girl. Mm, I'm not sure about that. I haven't been here long enough. You don't have to. Charles got moved up after being here for three months. Damn, that fast? Mm -hmm. Well, maybe they are considering me. I applied for the team lead position a little while ago, but I didn't think I would get it. Well, it looks like you might be the first woman to be a lead. Who does your hair? I do. And it looks like that? You need to do mine. Maybe one day when I'm not drowning in schoolwork or stuck here. If they promote you, they give you hella vacation days. Tim ain't never here. You two are always gossiping. And you're always in women's business. Why is that? Because it's the women who keep things lively. Without y'all, there would be no drama around here. I think the men create a healthy amount of drama here, too. Healthy? Charles was just in the parking lot two weeks ago ready to fight Sharice's boyfriend for her honor. What? Charles was going to get his ass whooped. That was woman drama. Charles didn't know she had a boyfriend. And how do you know that? I hang out with them sometimes. And when did this start happening? Two months ago or so, at first. I thought it would be odd, but wasn't bad. You actually like hanging out with Tim? He's an asshole. He's like that at work. Outside, he's pretty cool. I can't believe you hang out with them. They don't seem like your type. You can't believe it? I can't either. Wait until they find out I'm gay. I don't think that would matter. I get the vibe that Tim might be too. You feel that? Because I thought it was just me. Good afternoon, everyone. Sorry to interrupt your lunch. I just have a few announcements and I'll be out of your hair. They're probably about to announce your promotion, Nick. You're getting promoted. Congratulations, Nyla. We are glad to have each and every one of you guys for coming in and putting your best foot forward every day.
I know some of you haven't been at TCA long, but for those who haven't, you've managed to catch on quickly. At TCA, we reward our super agents for showing a fantastic work ethic. I can't believe this is happening. We have been looking for someone to fill Jason's position since he left, but struggled to pick someone. Many of you showed great potential, and we ask that you keep showing us that you can do great every day at TCA. With that being said, we have decided to promote Juan to team lead. Oh my god, thank you. You're welcome, and we are glad to have you here at TCA. Round of applause for Juan, everybody. Congratulations, Juan. Nyla, I'm so sorry. You shouldn't be. You work just as hard as me. You deserve it. We also would like to announce our employee of the month, Nyla. So after all that, you will be rewarded bullshit. They gave it to Juan. I'm surprised. Charles always gave me homophobic vibes, but I guess he's accepted. I don't know. The way Nye always described Juan, he seemed pretty muscular. They probably don't know. Mm, true. Y'all are off topic. Our bad. It sounds like they were grooming him. Yeah, maybe they had their eye on him already. Nah, it's bullshit because Juan didn't even seem like he knew he was up for it. Maybe he didn't think he would get it. Or maybe it's a boys club. Aren't all your leads men? Yeah. Have you tried going to HR? What would that do if they've been just letting them put men in high positions? They're going to continue to let them do it. The only way this would matter is if she plans to make a paper trail to sue. Ooh. Is that really something I could do? If you can find evidence that it is indeed a boys club and that you were snubbed, then yes. I might investigate that because all I got was an Amazon gift card for $20 and a company t-shirt. Not even a bonus on your check? Girl, if they gave her a bonus, they just gonna take it in taxes. We have got to get you out of there. Well, hopefully I'll be done with classes in another year or two and I'll be gone from here. I'll see if someone needs an office assistant at the firm for you. Thanks, Dev. Now let's talk about what I've been dying to tell Jade. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You missed a lot after you left Valerie's party. What happened? Asha's gonna be in her sister Chantel's wedding. I know you lying. Nope, Chantel asked her to be the maid of honor. I can't believe this, not after all these years. Believe it, she even invited her to Val's housewarming party. Y'all met her? Yep. Explains why she had a pole up her ass. What is Chantel like? Not the monster she paints her to be. Yeah, she was actually really sweet. That's interesting. Never thought I'd see the day though. Me neither. I wonder if her mom knows? Ooh, I should have asked that. Miss Pearl would die where she stood if she found out, so I doubt. Sounds messy. We'll see how it turns out. But Jay, are you coming to get me? It's cold out here. My bad, this shoot is running a little over its time slot. Can you give me 20 minutes? Actually, never mind. I have a ride. From who? Terrell. Oh, Lord. I'll talk to y'all later. Don't get in that car, girl. She's gone, girl.
Chantel, I feel like we tried on every dress they have. You haven't made up your mind yet? No, they have to be perfect. Now hurry up and come out. I want to see them. These can't be all the dresses. Chantel, what is your theme? I haven't decided. I'm still looking for a wedding planner. Still, I thought you two found one. No, we've been busy with the work. We'll take some time off. We have five months to get this together, Chan. I'll look into it tonight. And can we please try on better dresses? Because I know you are not considering these. You guys can go change. Or we can pick this up another day. We've been here since one. We can't. I want to find the perfect dresses for you guys. With everything I have going on, I don't know when I'll have the time again. Besides, it gives you all a chance to get to know each other better. I have nothing against that, but I do still have work I need to complete. Don't worry about that. We work at the same place. If I can afford to be here, so can you. Besides the hefty bill we're paying to rent out this bridal shop and drink champagne, might as well enjoy it. Right, is there any food to go with this champagne? And can we please try on some new dresses? They should be bringing food out soon, now go change. If y'all don't mind, I'm going to take a break. I know that this is a lot on you, Asha, but try not to stress about being the maid of honor. We wouldn't want you to have wrinkles in the wedding pictures. On second thought, I think I will go try on dresses. That's the spirit. Oh, now these dresses are adorable, Shantae looks. 